AR Fink here. Today I'll demonstrate the improved functionality of the Munchausen cartridge. Uh, the software has recently been updated and the cartridge can do a few things now that it wasn't able to do the last time I demonstrated the cartridge. So let's power it up and see. We have a menu. You can use your D-pad on your controller and pick the game you want to run. Press the A button to select, and it runs your selected program. This program here is Blarg's Flowing Palette Color Demo for the NES. Shows off some cool palette tricks. But say you've had enough of watching colors bleeding all over the place. You just cycle power, and you're back at the menu. So let's play around with Lightwall 10 a little bit. So you can see, light wall is working pretty well too. Go back to the menu. And you'll notice that our menu bar is sitting on light wall still. The cartridge remembers the game you played the last time you used it. And it will select your previously run program when you start up. Also, if you'd like, you can skip the menu entirely and go directly into your previously selected program. And I'll demonstrate this with Mega Man. We'll start Mega Man normally. Now we'll power off. And to skip the menu, we'll just hold down the A button and power back on. And as you can see, we're right back in Mega Man and we didn't have to deal with going through the menu. This significantly reduces the tedium of browsing through all of your games and whatnot before you start up your play session. Um, so you can get right back to what you're doing the last time you're using the cartridge. So now I'll demonstrate loading a new game on. To load a new game you just leave your NES switched on with the USB plugged into the PC and just sit at the menu and we'll load up a familiar favorite. You'll notice it says communicating with PC. Let's turn the brightness back down. And in slot one we now have Super Mario Brothers. After you've loaded your games, you can run the cartridge without having the USB adapter plugged in. So, say you need to run something like Duck Hunt, which I will load now. When it's done loading, I'll just unplug the serial link cable and plug in a zapper and it will work as you'd expect. We'll just unplug the serial cable and plug in the zapper. Now you can blast some ducks. As you can see, I stink pretty bad at Duck Hunt. So we'll just switch back to the uh, serial cable here and boot back up to the menu. Now we'll put in the ever popular NTRQ. For this, we'll switch over to the PC, so we can get a closer look at how that's working. So you'll see we have our command line here, Munchausen load ntrq2109.nes, 
And that number 3 there indicates that we'll be putting it into slot 3 where Mega Man 2 is currently residing. And we'll also add a little something extra here. The verbose function, which will give us a little more information about what's going on while it's loading. And you'll see we'll start by erasing the sectors that it needs to put the program into. And then it writes the flashbanks one at a time, going through the 256 kilobytes or so that it takes to fill up the MMC1 bank of the flash chip. Uh, transfer speed at the moment is about 5 kilobytes a second or so, so loading up an MMC1 game takes about a minute or so. And we're finished. NTRQ. Let's fire it up. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.